Hello everybody, this is Maddie at Maddie's Kitchen. And I went into the store, I said, all meats are so expensive. So I saw chicken, and I know this chicken was in the commissary and it was uh, pretty cheap. So I said, I will show you all how to make some, oh, some barbecue chicken and with vegetables, and it's gonna be so good. I got all types of vegetables I'm gonna be putting in there. For my, for my uh, sauce, I'm going to use some hot sauce. It's coming on it. I'm going to use some mustard, some honey, liquid smoke, pepper, salt, uh, Worcestershire sauce, ketchup. This is fresh garlic, brown sugar, and vinegar, and some onions. Now, all of this is going into my sauce. Now, for my chicken, my vegetable chicken, I'm going to... Uh, season this up. These vegetables in here, all types of vegetables I have in here are going on top of that and you'll see it. And it's when I'm baking it because just for, I want all these vegetables to season into this meat. For the last video I did of cleaning my uh, my pots and stuff, they wanted to see this pot. This the one they wanted to see, the square and rectangle one. And this is it, you know. I had these really a long time. See, that can't come off, but you know, don't Look, I have scrubbed and scrubbed it. Looking a little better, but I think this is burnt into the steel, stainless steel. But anyway, so I've had them a long time. This is what they were talking about. But you can buy these pans anywhere. Like if you go to an equipment place where they sell uh, cafeteria equipment, you can buy pans like that. That's where you can get them, and that's the best place. But anyway, now I'm getting ready to start with my chicken. The only thing I'm going to put on this chicken that's um, dry is some pepper. Pepper and salt. Salt, and I'm going to turn it over. Do the same thing. Because that's the, the, the season, the dry season is not what's really going to season this chicken. It's going to be the, the barbecue sauce and the uh, and the um, vegetables, what's going to really season this with. Yeah. Yeah, I'd say I was laughing. I was so, uh, I hope y'all enjoyed uh, how to clean my uh, my little pots. I always use um, uh, SOS pads of any kind, Verlo, any kind they got. So now I'm going to put this in here. Because I might be adding a little bit. Of, I got the drumstick because they didn't have nothing else, you know, in there. And so I'm going to take these vegetables. See, these vegetables, I'm just lay on top of them. Let these vegetables season in them. You know, got all kinds in here. So this is, that's, these are green peppers. I'm going to put a lot of them on there. Because I just, what I want is a taste of them. I just want the taste. And these are yellow onions. I'm going to put some of these on here. Just put them in there. Uh, put them in here and let them cook. Okay, some of these. Now here's some, these are green onions right here, so, but I'm gonna put these red onions in here. Some on there, this red on here. And let this really season to the chicken, you know. That's all I want is a season into it. Put all of this on here. And this some season. You're not gonna, you don't, you, it's just, I'm covering this so it'll season it really good. And that's all I'm gonna put in here. But these two peppers right there, I didn't mention, they are going into the barbecue sauce and also this lemon and also this uh, these uh, green onions. Okay then, get back with you. Okay y'all, I'm getting ready to put some butter on here. I forgot to mention this, I'm gonna put a little butter on here. Season a little bit so it can kind of season the, uh, you know, the uh, vegetables, just a little bit, of, just some butter, that's butter. And I'm going to cook that. And I'm going to set this in the oven. I'm put this in the oven. I'm wrap it up really good. And let it cook until the, best, until the vegetables and the chicken get soft. Because after this, I'm going to add my barbecue sauce. And I'm going to put my barbecue sauce on some of them. And some of them I'm just going to uh, use them. Um, just, just put none on them. I'm going to let this cook in the oven so the chicken get them uncovered and check it in about 35 to 40 minutes. Okay. Ooh, I forgot, y'all. I was cooking this sausage earlier. 
I ain't been left so long. I've been in a grind. I bet I'm going to eat it when I put this in there. I'm over. <laughs> I don't play it. I forgot it. So now I'm putting this in the oven. I got it on 350. Now I'm going to let this cook. Um, I always learned how to, I, I, I was taught how to make barbecue from scratch, y'all. And when you're making barbecue from scratch, you need four main ingredients. And the ingredients are, you need ketchup. You definitely need ketchup. That's one. You need some Worcestershire sauce. You need vinegar. And you need, uh, I'm sorry, mustard and vinegar. That's the four things you need to make barbecue sauce. Now, all of this other stuff, the liquid smoke, the honey, the hot sauce, Onions, salt, pepper, all types of things. The, the lemon, uh, the um, the um, onions and stuff, and peppers and stuff, and the garlic. That's just optional. But if, if you if you had just these four ingredients: the vinegar, ketchup, Worcestershire sauce, and mustard, you have you some plain barbecue sauce. Okay, I'm gonna start with the ketchup. And I don't mess. This is about two cups. I might need to add some more. So I'm gonna put the two cups in there. First thing I'm gonna do, start with the two cups of ketchup. That's the first, I'm gonna put these four ingredients that you need to start a barbecue sauce with. And some water, of course, you need a little water because you don't want the stuff if it's not thick enough. Okay, set that here. Okay, I also I said, um, I said Worcestershire sauce. Now, like, that's two cups. And the more you get, uh -oh, the more you get used to this, the, the better the taste. I just put, see how much I'm putting in that look, those two cups, just a look of it. Stir it up. Okay, put a little bit more, but I'm looking by how it looks for me. Okay, look, okay. Then I set this aside, and that's two ingredients. And you have to have mustard. Mustard give it that tingy taste to, to make barbecue uh, from scratch. Four ingredients. See if I took this off. Sure didn't do it this way. I know about uh, put just a little bit in there. See, okay, that's about enough. Okay, the mustard and uh, vinegar. Those are three things that need to make barbecue sauce from scratch. You need the vinegar. So I'm gonna put this here, put some vinegar in there, and I'm gonna turn the stove on. I'm gonna start stirring this up to get the you know. I need other things. I'm gonna put in there. Of course, this one need. Other things I'm going to be adding, the peppers and stuff, this is just to make it taste good and the honey. But this is barbecue sauce. You taste this and you got you some barbecue sauce. Okay. See it? Oh, it's coming. And I look at it sometime. I said I want it. Um, so I'm going to put some brown, dark brown sugar in here. Once I get it this, uh, the way I want, I'm going to let this kind of cook a little bit. I might add a little water to it. A little vinegar. And I've taken, I've tasted this. Let's see. Mm -hmm. Now this is barbecue sauce, but it's bland. It don't matter which order you add. I'm putting some liquid smoke in. This liquid smoke is when you like you, um, if you're cooking out on the grill and you want that little grill taste, you put this, put a little of this in there. I don't know if I get that barbecue taste. But to me, you know, when you're cooking chicken and, um, uh, cooking chicken and uh, on a grill, you know, you're having a, a cookout and you have chicken. You know what? The chicken is the last thing to go. They'll eat everything but the chicken. You know why? Because when they put that chicken on there, they let it cook. Most times it's not even done. And uh, I think chicken is the only one that you should cook in the oven. And they don't season it good. They don't have their barbecue sauce good. It hasn't had good barbecue sauce. Now, looking at this, I'm going to put a little bit more uh, Worcestershire sauce in here. Just looking at it. Put a little bit more in there. That's about that enough. And uh, I'm going to start with my uh, brown sugar. I'm going to put a little brown sugar in here. Yeah, put a little brown sugar in there. That's what I'm going to have. Stuff got hard to get in my Okay. Okay. Set that down. I'm gonna stir this in here. That's just to make it sweet. I'm gonna add some more water, like I said, in this dissolving. Got to get that uh, barbecue taste. 
it. Once it's cooked, and what I do, once I get the barbecue sauce, this is the sauce. Let's see how this tastes. Mm. Tastes good. That sugar made a difference. You want your barbecue sauce a little thick, you know, so it's done. That little chicken, that's enough for my, that little chicken I had, that's enough. But you want your barbecue sauce to be able to stick, to stick on your uh, meat and stuff. You want it to cook. And you cook it down real low. And I'm going to put some of these vegetables. I'm going to start with these vegetables. These are garlic. I'm just putting them there. I'm not going to, I'm just putting these in here for seasoning. They're not going to be on the chicken. Not at all. Unless we want to put them on the chicken, but they'll just be, I'll take them out and let these cook, the garlic. So I'm going to let some onions cook in here. Put these onion, fresh onion. These are yellow onions. And I'm going to put some, um, what's it got, honey. Put a little honey in here. Get that sweet, you know, honey. You don't have heard of honey. Barbecue sauce is really good. But you still need to add a little brown sugar in there because you don't want the honey. Honey sometimes can overpower stuff and has a tendency to overpower. So that's coming. I'm gonna get some good barbecue. This is why my chicken is cooking. And what we do, believe it or not, we take a lemon and put the whole lemon in there, just turn it over. But I will have more barbecue sauce and just let the lemon cook in it. That's how I learned to cook it. Uh, to make it, just let this whole lemon cook. But like I said, I'm going to have to turn this over. Once it starts cooking, it'll be okay. Yeah. But normally I will have, but I'm not making a lot of sauce today. And I'll get right back with you. Okay, now I'm supposed to put some of this hot pepper, just a little bit in here. Yeah, I'm going to put this in here and let it cook. I add a little bit more water. You can tell it's getting thick. And I cut it down because I don't want it to burn. That's about enough right there because I don't want to be too thick. And I'm adding, just for, you know, that, uh, so I'm putting these uh, green onions, put a little green onions in here, just a little bit. Because I'm going to let this cook for, simmer for a good, um, a good 30 minutes. And then they're going to also cook with the food, so it's getting another extra cooking. Okay, a little bit of that. And I'm going to put some, uh, I put the uh, garlic in there. I got this lemon. Like I said, the lemon should uh, really cover it, but like I say, this is not making that much. I don't need that much. So I begin to look out the barbecue sauce. I got to make it, if it gets a little thin, I put a little more ketchup in. I'm going to let this simmer. Okay, what else I need? I put a little hot sauce, just a little bit, because you know that's country. That's what we always use. That's, oh, that's enough. And I'm going to let this cook for a while, and I'm going to get back with y'all. Okay, y'all, here's the chicken. It's you know, I tuck it out of the thing, and the season's so good. It smells so good. Fall off the bone, you know it's done. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take uh, this right here, chicken. I'm going to put it right in here. See, that barbecue sauce is so good. I let it cook. Uh, I let it cook for a long time. It's so good with that. And I'm going to put it on here and put it back in there. And I made it. I stayed it up. So I, and it stays on there. Put this one in there. I'm going to put all of them in there. I'm going to put them back in the oven. They've done enough. All I want them to do is get up to brown a lot. Get crispy because they're ready. Put these on. So they fell off the bone. And that's how I like for my barbecue uh, stuff to do. That's why I don't eat it on the grill because it don't be done. I have a problem with that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Done. And this barbecue sauce is sticking on them. I'm going to put a little bit more on them. It kind of broke up, you know, but I like mine like that because I want to make sure they're done. Okay. Put some on there, make sure they stick on it. Okay. This is made from scratch. Just some good barbecue sauce. If you can smell it, honey, it's tangy and it's... Um, Sweet has that dinner taste and, and, and hot taste, and it also sweet. And I'm gonna take and put these in here. I, don't know, I should have one more in here somewhere under here, right here. And so, I'm gonna put this in here. And these are the ones that I'm gonna put this uh, 
the vegetable on top of. That's up to you. One with vegetable, one with not. And this is some good homemade uh, barbecue sauce. If you didn't get it when I was making it, tune into my channel. Like I said, I got um, I got the I made it on my uh, channel, Maddie's Kitchen. So now I'm gonna take and put some of these on cross here. And let these set right here. Some of them, I'm gonna save some if you want to. No, it's gonna be plain of these with the vegetables. And they are so good, honey. The vegetable cooked on all of them. Some people might not just want the vegetable on theirs. So I'm gonna put these vegetables on these ones. And I'm gonna set this back in the oven. See, one thing about these pans, they don't get hot. They, but the heat don't stay on the edges of them. Put it back in the oven, and I'm gonna put it on. Let it brown a little bit, I'm gonna put it on broil. I'm gonna put my oven on broil. Cancel and I'm gonna put it on boil and start it. Okay, that's it. Thank you all for tuning in to Maddie's Kitchen and watching my presentation on homemade barbecue sauce and barbecue chicken. Please don't forget to hit that notification bell, share with friends and family, and tune in again when I upload a video. Thank you and have a wonderful day.